My name is Thomas Sommer. Hi, I'm Kara Zuzu. So, uh, how's it going? My name is Pierce Morado, and I'm a mixed media artist. All right, uh, well, why I chose to donate it is what the piece is about, pretty much. Um, it's a outline of a, a human-esque outline on a, you know, spatial black background, and it has red and white inside of it in the heart and mind, simulating the relationship between your heart and your head. The piece is called, My Heart is Pumping Blood into My Head, slash mirror window picture. Um, what it has to do with human rights is that whenever you have the realization that you are a human being with a heart pumping blood into your head, really quickly on the heels of that, you all of a sudden realize that, you know, everybody else is in that same place as you. And, uh, yeah, so based on those two understandings, you, <clears throat> you know, realize that human rights are, you know, a part of you. The piece that I decided to submit was a woman who is crying because I feel like when I was kind of trying to brainstorm what kind of art piece to do for this show, you know, there's like a lot of human rights campaigns that, you know, I feel that are very important, but it kind of just kind of all came down to, you know, when somebody's human rights as a person are not met, it always leads to depression and, and sadness and despair. And so I thought, you know, doing just a woman crying is a really great way to kind of encompass that overall feeling that you feel when your right as a human being is not being met. So my piece is called The Goddess of Artists and Sinners and it's about um, female objectification in art and, and before I kind of get into it, I, I know it's, it's a little weird that that's coming from a heterosexual male, but uh, I grew up around, you know, in a house of two women for a lot of my life and as an artist who is a heterosexual male, this is something that I like just think about a little bit. So I wanted to do a piece about it. There's a, there's a theory in feminism that was made popular by this woman named Dr. Laura Mulvey. Uh, it's called the male gaze and essentially what, what happens is because more often than not it's heterosexual males that are in charge of the camera, um, the viewer of the film then tends to you view it through the lens of a heterosexual male. Does that make sense? So um, what I did with the piece though was I sort of flipped that on its head and I, I played with the idea of like the analogous female gaze, you know, so the, the subject of the piece is a female and rather than her being gazed on, she's gazing at you. So it's not just switching the role of the male and the female, it's switching the role of the viewer and, and the view. So like hopefully in, in some small way, when you look at the piece, like you experience that, what it's like to be objectified. Well, I know one thing for sure is just the artists I know in this show are all insanely talented. So, uh, and there's some I don't know that if they're par for the course, are probably just as talented. So there's going to be some good work to be seen for sure. I think having a human's rights show is um, a great thing to do. You know, it's a way for artists to come together and show off their different styles, but you're also coming together for a purpose and for a reason. And I might know certain human rights campaigns and maybe come to this show, I'm going to be aware of other ones. And you think about all the people that are going to come they're gonna be able to experience this. It's kind of advocacy for all human rights. It's a good way to get that message out there.